Lady Diana, um, in real truth, was one of the sweetest people I've ever known because um, we could relate to each other. We share something in common with the press. I don't think they hounded anyone more than her and myself. And we had a relationship, a very good relationship, where we would call each other uh, late at, at night for me, uh, and we would, you know, just talk about, just like cry on each other's shoulders, how hard and difficult and how mean the tabloids can be and how they lie and twist stories around. Um, but she came to a concert at Wembley Stadium in London, and uh, you know they do when the royal family comes, you have to line up and you meet the family and everything. But at some point she called me away from the line and um, and I saw Prince Charles look at me and I said, oh boy. She said, I want to talk to you. So I said, yeah, what's, what's happening? She said, are you going to do Dirty Diana tonight? I said, no, no, I took it out of the show out of respect for you. She said, that's my favorite song. I said, are you serious? I said, I took it out of respect because I'm dirty, Diane, you're in the audience. So at that point, I couldn't put it back in the show because it was too close to showtime. So um, I remember um, Prince Charles leaving the line, walking over to us, and he said, what are you talking about? And she said, oh, nothing like that. So <laughs> that was that story. And there's a couple of other ones, but I don't want to, you know, <laughs> say too much. <laughs> she was just a wonderful, warm, compassionate uh, person. Very caring, very caring. It was real. It wasn't uh, publicity stuff. It was, it was real. She really cared. I'm the same way. I feel the same way that she does about children and the future of our children and the future of the world. What I usually